All right, we're doing an updated video on the Fuller. We made a change this year. This is the old rod holder. And the problem we have with this rod holder is with these short butt rods. They couldn't quite make the distance here, so they didn't fit real well in there. The longer butts obviously had no issue with it. So that's the reason for the modification. And in this one here, we have the, the newer design. So we'll set this up. Your flag inserts here, rod holder comes out inserts in there and now you can see the short butt rod fit right in there real nice and you know your longer length ones will just stick out the back more all right you're gonna pop your trigger arm out here lower your bait down to whatever depth you're at and then your line just goes underneath that trigger arm and the line always goes behind this grommet right here so that's basically to keep the line back there that's where all your leverage is to adjust your tension, that's all over here with this side. So if you want more tension, just move this forward. If you want less, move it back. If you want to really dial it into a hair trigger, just slide it back. And when you start to see it there coming up off the base like that, that's as light as you can get. I usually just dial it back a little bit more. And that's where I'd set it up for panfish. So now you can see this is going to go off real smooth and easy. All right, again, the line just goes under there. If you want to set it up for bigger minnows, say you're fishing pike, just dial this forward. I found it easy just to spin this, and it moves a little easier forward. And then you can get more tension on there. So now you can see a bigger minnow can swim around down there. One other thing you want to do when you're fishing bigger minnows is just take this snap and move it to that upper hole. Because your flag might have a tendency to move back on you. If you get a little bit of wind, you can see it maybe just creep back a little bit. If it's doing that, just put it in that upper hole. That's going to hold it up against the stop, and that's going to keep your, your uh, tension consistent. So we'll set this off and show you how to pack this up. <clears throat> so the trigger arm just snaps in here. Take your rod holder out. That inserts here, just position it down, it just basically slides in like that, and then the flag comes out, and then that just inserts in there, and there's a little stop down there on the end. 